out once again, and this is the first ride of the season. We've uh, been extremely busy, had a lot going on in our lives. Uh, mini bike is pretty much done, needs a little carb tweaking, but other than that, it's working great. And today is pretty much the last cool day of the year before monsoon kicks in, so we said let's get out and go for a ride. It looks like a few other people are out here too. Interesting footnote to this ride is this may be our last ride in the desert. Not certain, but it seems like it might be. So we wanted to make it a good one and we went to our favorite stomping grounds at our club claim area. And I have to say, it's like what today? Like right now it's like 78, 79 or something. I mean, that's, that's nice and cool. Yeah. Oh, a sign marker. Kevin did that. Oh, yes. Well, we got some good stuff for the year in review. Now, keep your Chuckawella eyes peeled. Yep. be our uh, last ride in the desert is we are going to be relocating to a new area that is a lot more temperate and uh, seize the opportunity of the housing market right now. We had a situation that presented itself that the Lord had put before us and it is a, a real good one so we are super excited um, gonna miss the desert though, I can't deny it. it. It has been a blast living out here. We've been talking about it now, it's like 11 or 12 years of riding out here. And uh, I'm gonna miss this area. Just so wide open and expansive. You can go in any direction. There's so many riding areas. This is probably one of the best places in all of America to go ride and just have like trails absolutely everywhere. Yep. Brought the quad McHugh along. Yep. Wouldn't be a normal ride if we didn't bring the quad McHugh along, the recon slow cooker. This time we have pork loin chops with buttered rice with shiitake mushrooms and chives in it. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then we put a little black sriracha on the pork chops, a little barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. That's some good eating at the trailside pit. All right. All right. That's why it's always good to stay on our side of the road. That's the only thing I'll say with riding is uh, with the uh, introduction of side-by-sides, it's a lot more bigger than us vehicles on the trail. And uh, there's a couple times I've come around a turn and I've, I've tried to always stay in my lane, but I'm telling you, if I was over a little bit, it would have been a head-on collision. So, nope, not when you're out supposed to be having fun. You don't want, you know, dental work done or a face reconstruction or something. Oh yeah, someone got a camper out there too. We've flown the drone there a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're bringing it with us. You can't have it. <laughs> we'll leave what's left in the ground though. That's all yours. Everybody can go get it. You just gotta find where we're leaving it. We have lots of rivers and creeks and lakes and ponds and it 
it's all forested and we're outdoorsy people so the channel's still gonna have riding we're just not sure what it's gonna look like yet whether it's ATV parks or hot dog and where we're at where we're moving to is very rural really nice yeah the city's been good but we want a calmer slower life Doing some dry, dry washing up there. <laughs> cool. Yeah, he had a keen up there. Yeah, it's a good day to dry wash, judging on your what I see coming off your tires and dust. And the desert's always dirty, so it always needs to be washed. <laughs> but I'm pumped. All right, I'm done. So yeah, we'll definitely still be out and about riding. I'll, I'll give you a clue. The mini bike's coming with us. We're gonna have, we're gonna sell our quads. We're, we're actually driving the whole way there, and it's pretty far. So we decided we'll sell the ATVs. Maybe get like a four x four pickup to start off with. But the mini Baja is coming with us. It's just too close to home. We love it too much. And that was the first thing we rode out here. The original gangsta. So the temps are just lovely. Yeah. Good, 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 good. I'm I'm doing pretty good. I'm so happy we came out here. And it's our anniversary. <laughs> happy anniversary, wifey. We Yep, good time to ride. So we're gonna go explore this whole area again. Now we've been all over it, but there's always room for more. It's just so expansive and wonderful here. All the times I had the mini bike maxed out on this road. Oh my gosh, like, 60, 70 pounds of it on the back of it. That's another reason we're keeping it. The thing is a brick turd house. Hey, I'm keeping it nice for the uh, family folks. I would like to think the kids can watch our channel and grow up in a nice, not uh, cursing and everything. Yeah, we are, we're a family channel. So yeah, wow, I mean, clear skies today. And uh, Nutrigrain's got the bike decorated for the anniversary. I assure you those are not leftover Christmas decorations. That would be wild. Uh, but what are they doing? So do you want to go up the top way or do you want to go... Uh, which way do you want to do? I'll let you lead. Ooh, I was kind of hoping you'd say that. This way is squirrely but fun. Uh, I love the claim. Yep. Yeah, nice aerial view. Wow. So pretty out here. <laughs> no kidding, I see that. Well, well. Yep. Wow. Well, in Arizona, you can own both the land and the mineral rights at the same time. Very southwestern looking. Yeah, yeah, tombstone. <laughs> That's super neat looking. Maybe they're going to make an attraction, you know, find the miners. I 
I know, I want the tour. <laughs> Wow, that is neat. Mining casitas? I mean, that is just absolutely adorable. Okay, let's see if it comes up. Wow, they got like a little patch of grass. <laughs> oh, it's so nice out here. Now, now, we won't be gone forever from the desert. We'll still be coming back. We got family here. So what the thought is, is we might like rent bikes and take them out. So we'll still get that juicy action on the channel. Let's see, this got better. In a lumpier way. sure you get them. Ooh, this is bone dry. Yeah, let's do a loop through it. That's what it's there for when it's empty. Interesting. Oh, wow, it's almost like a track. Wow, that's a drop off and a half. <laughs> You get some video. So yeah, we haven't been over in this part of the plane in a while. Yeah. Go check it out. See how it's doing. I think it'll adjust it just to scope the whole area. Cool. That's fine. Little stuff. It's so cool. Yeah. What I thought about the desert, you know, just old yeah. bygone stuff from mining. And yeah. It's rough out here. Wow, oh, so that's the entrance to it, huh? Okay, well. We're good, we're good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put the shoulder to the test. Had some shoulder pain last week, so finally feeling better. Yeah. Although I think I'll be taking extra ibuprofen tonight. Still alive, but that's <laughs> yeah, we've been busy, busy, busy. Yeah, wow. Oh, and then the first two months of the year were interesting. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so we both got COVID yeah. around Christmas time last year, and we were both down for quite a while. Um, you know, I had it pretty bad, but not terrible, but uh, Rock Dollar up there, man, it walled him. I'd take him to the hospital. He had COVID pneumonia in both lungs. Uh, yeah, oxygen was real bad, real low. Up yeah, yeah, coughing up blood. Like Ooh. that, that's, let me tell you folks, that is uh, not something you want to see. Nope. So we're like, yeah, well, you better go. So we took him and, uh, you know, they didn't do a whole lot. They pumped them full of, you know, painkillers and some antibiotics just in case, but, you know, there wasn't a whole lot. They had to run Yeah, we just, we had to, they just took them home and got, got them on some oxygen. That helped a bunch. It took about a month. Yeah, you were down a good month, and then even the next month was still not, you know, 100% in your lungs. Oh, interesting. Let's go split up. All right, give me a little momentum to back up. Started backing up without me. I had to do a little idle work on the recon. Yeah, she wasn't idling before. You know, I think she had some bad gas. But she's doing pretty good right now. Okay. So yes, it's good to be fully recovered from that. And hoping and praying we don't see that again. That was awful. Oh my gosh, yes. Hey, do we need to do this? We've done this before. We have? Yeah. We can do it out. It doesn't look like it goes anywhere, but I'm not sure. Does it just stop here? Uh, it keeps going. I think I 
the desert, do our mining. We haven't been up through the pine forest in a while, but where we're headed now is nothing but trees. <laughs> so yeah, we still got, I'm not sure if we're going to keep the uh, Z50 or sell it for profit. We do like our profit. But it's so wonderful to drive. It is a pretty wild ride. I think I put, what was the sprocket I put on? 24 tooth or 20 tooth? Uh, I'm going to go with 24 tooth. I think it was a 24 tooth sprocket I put on the back. And it, that 110 cc motor is a lot more uh, usable with it. A lot less uh, scary. <laughs> right amount of torque and uh, speed. We could go to the white area way up at the center portion if we go the way you're going. Yep. Yep, yep, that's our nickname for it, cool spot. Yep, yep. This right here we call Cool Spot. Great place to park your vehicle and mine for gold. Yep. 
Yeah, it's like a little channel you drive it through. Yeah. A little desert channel. Check out our channel. <laughs> you know, we never checked out this way. Yeah, I kind of do. So yeah, this ride, we actually have the Hero 7s out. We were kind of like disappointed with the fact that we just bought them and here we are leaving the desert. So we were glad to get another ride out. But last time we rode with the skeleton case and there was a lot of wind filter interference and then wind interference itself. So this time we took the lens cover off and we slapped them into their waterproof cases, made an adjustment to the exposure, and a couple other little setting tweaks. I think we turned the sharpness down. It's a little too harsh. They work excellent. I'm very happy with them. And we were actually looking at the Osmo, but it's absolutely ridiculous that you have to register just to turn the thing on. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not just to turn it on. You can turn it on four times. You can turn it on four times, and then after that, you have to register it. And that's just silly. Wow, that's some major choice. Yeah, we do, we're not like, hey, let's go ahead and buy a camera to set up an account. And the Hero 7 is definitely a worthy camera. We tried out the picture. You saw that in Thanksgiving ride, that little sample. I have a whole video. I thought about putting it up, but it's so bad. It's like, don't fall for the Amazon crap cams. Unless you, unless you like have a certain particular need that it fits, you know, I'm not going to say it isn't going to be for everyone, but if you value good image stabilization and high quality video with a wide view angle, those are not it. Oh yeah, I forgot about the audio. Yeah, I mean, we picked these bad boys up and I think, what do we pay for them? 190 a piece and it's like and it came with a waterproof case extra batteries it was straight from gopro pro through ebay they're selling uh seven refurbs and they're not like some third party it's actually gopro refurbing them so and they're wonderful they came with a bunch of other extras i can't remember right now like a silicone cover for it and like a skin or whatever you call those things but yeah, it was, it was amazing, and none of that was advertised. It was just gonna be the camera and one battery, I thought, and the waterproof case. But it came with a whole bunch of batteries. Whoa. Too bad we don't have the mini bike right up that. Yeah. The right, mini bike up this part right here was, I felt like, pretty hero grade. due to the amount of rubble. <laughs> the Barney rubble. Nice leisurely bounce up it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm coming up right behind you. You can get going. I got you Akatio, or Akatio. I got you, uh, uh, what do you call it? Teddy Bear Choya for our anniversary. You didn't accept it, so I thought maybe you didn't know. <laughs> it, it, yeah, you left it all there, so I was like, huh, maybe you didn't know. Lots of colors. That's what I love about this area, it's so many, it's like painted desert looking. I know, you got like purple and red and white, and it's pretty sweet.
sparkle go to the white stuff and then we pull down into the white area. Where I was like, look at this little toad. Interested to see if the spring has water. Oh, is it time? I'm hungry. So you 
quicker out square is this hack. Yeah, yeah, cereal goes quick out here. Yes, it is. Let's get our grub on. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll see you at the barbecue. Well, just pulled off the barbecue here. Take a look at those pork chops. Ooh, those are center cut pork chops. And then here is the rice with shiitake mushrooms and chives and butter. Oh yeah. That was really, really good. I think it's time to dig in. Oh, we mm. got some barbecue sauce too and some black sriracha on those. Mmm, mmm.
was a real good barbecue. Oh, that was a nice barbecue. Pork chops are just so delicious, and tender, delicious. Yeah, they were really good. And, uh, you know, that rice today is really good there. Now, you guys have known that Rock Dolly is a heck of a cook. And that rice was just, yeah. <laughs> Cooking up the trails is what he's cooking now. Yeah. Cooking up the rock. Yeah. Yeah, that rice that was really good with the uh, shiitakes and the chives. Yeah. A little butter in there. Salt and pepper. Ooh, that was really, really good. Yep. Yeah. 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 You can probably use brown rice for a but... Yeah, just use, use what works for you. Use what you got, you know? Yep. Yeah. Use what you got. You can work your recipe tomorrow. Alright. Yeah, the spring was uh, not flowing this time, so that's, that's a bummer, but you know, not that surprising. It's been a dry year. Yeah, it's been a dry year. Doesn't look like it even really did much of anything there. Like, uh, you're here and I'm here and I'm here and I'm here. Yeah. When we had the uh, Indian tank everywhere. That was such a, that was a nice treat. Yeah. A tree Williams. A tree Williams. It was a tree Williams. Ah, ah. Yeah. You know what I like about that meal is that sometimes we'll make these uh, big hearty meals and you get back on the trail and it's like, oh man, I say Thanksgiving dinner, I can't ride, you know? That was pretty, that was pretty lean. I'm not feeling too, uh, too weighted down. You know, it's probably because it's so thin as a pork roll. Yeah. Yeah. It's just rice with a little bit of butter. Yeah. I was really hungry too, so. I was really hungry. I was really hungry. Trailside pork chop, though, like, you can't beat that. Oh, that view. Oh, wow, that is a nice view. I think this one gets us every time. Yeah. And then you just like look to your left and you're like, oh, another really nice oh. view. Someone the edge of the you see that? Oh, with that one campsite there? Yeah, that's where, that's where we're headed. Yeah. We'll be turning, we'll take a right yeah. We'll yeah, we'll see. Looks like they got like a tent or a canopy set up too. Yeah, I know, like a bit of TV. <laughs> <laughs> it really looks like a TV. Well, I have no doubt people will continue to enjoy this place proper. Absolutely. And yeah, I'm excited. You know, we'll come back and visit family and then maybe rent a bike or a couple bikes or maybe That's a cool. side by side, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's something. Oh, 
Some new videos coming soon.